In this video, I'm going to walk through how to update your Canon EOS R5 to the latest firmware. This way, you'll be able to take full control of your R5 with all of the latest features released by Canon. If you like tutorials like this, please drop us a like and consider subscribing to our channel, as well as hitting the bell icon to be notified of any of our future videos. We also have a weekly newsletter packed with tons of information on diving and underwater photography. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below to sign up. First, power on your Canon R5 and put it into P mode by hitting the mode button and clicking on P. Next, we're gonna to move to the computer and head over to Canon's official website to download the firmware. The website will be linked in the description below. Click on Cameras, EOS and Revel Digital Cameras, at the top, EOS R, and then EOS R5. Click Drivers and Downloads, Firmware, and then the latest firmware will be at the top of the list. Make sure that you choose the appropriate operating system. So if you're on a Mac or Windows, you'll want to download the correct version. Double click the .dmg file and it will mount to the sidebar in Finder. Click on it and you'll see a .fir file inside. Next, we're going to go back to our camera and format our SD card. Formatting the SD card is necessary and will wipe all of the files on the card. To format the card, go to the menu and navigate to the wrench icon. On the first page, you'll see Format. Click on that and proceed through the steps to format your card. After formatting the card, Insert it into your computer and open the SD card up in Finder. Drag and drop the .fir file from earlier into the main directory of the card. Eject the card from your computer and head back to your camera. With the card back in the camera, open the menu and go to the same wrench icon as before. Go all the way over to the fifth menu and at the very bottom you'll see Firmware. Click on that. Before clicking OK, make sure that you have a full battery. The update can take some time and you don't want your camera to die halfway through the process. Click OK and wait for the camera to update. Once it's done updating, restart your camera and you're good to go. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments below.